Good morning, my name is Sand Dupree. Um, today I'm going to do for you for lunch spatchcock lemon pepper chicken. Now, I'm doing a whole lunch, I'm doing spatchcock lemon pepper chicken because Mom and Albert love lemon pepper chicken. And I'm doing green peas, which all I've done with them was open the cans, rinse them, I'll put a little tap of butter in it and some chicken broth and a little salt and pepper, bring them to a boil and turn them off. Now, I'm doing mashed potatoes as well with sour cream and butter in them. All I do is I've washed my potatoes, cut them up, put them in water. I put a little bit of salt and pepper in them, bring them to a boil, and cover them up, and let them finish cooking. And then I will drain a little bit of it, not quite all of it, put sour cream um, and salt and pepper and butter and everything in them to mash them up. But what I'm mainly going to do for y'all is the spatchcock chicken. And I'm going to make biscuits too, but y'all seen my biscuit video. So the main thing that I'm showing you today is just a spatchcock chicken. So I'm going to do my best now to turn you down. And I, I found two hens in the markdown yesterday for like a dollar and 70 cent a piece. They're not huge hens, but plenty for my family. So because they'll eat it and enjoy it and that'll be fine. Please overlook my mess on the counter. We got the baby birds that we've been... Um, keeping in here. So I'm going to do my best now to turn you down so you can see. So be patient with me. I think you may be able to see from there and I'll try to make you bigger. Let's see, that may be too big. Alrighty. Now let me get one of my hands. I got my shears. My hands are washed. There's my meat shears. And I got my pan. I took a pan and lined it like this. I got my oven set to 385. I'm gonna set the pan to the side. And any pieces that I do not use, I will save and boil for the dog because he usually comes with some little gizzards and stuff. But I'm gonna show you how to spatchcock a chicken. You can do it two ways. You can do it, um, you can do it down the backbone or you can turn it over and do it straight down the breast. But the way I usually do mine is I'll show you. Well, I'm gonna use my knuckles and try to make it closer. Yeah, there you go. The way I do mine is I usually come right here with the, the part that goes over the fence, they call it, and I go right down the side of it. Go right down. It's, it's kind of tough, but you have to you know, just break the little bones and stuff. Mainly what you're trying to do is remove that backbone. Or simply remove the backbone. And I'm going to put this over here in my sink. Because like I said, it will be for the dogs. And then you turn your bird over like this. And then your wings, I usually cut my tips off. Because they, they're not edible anyway. And I can use them in the dog's cooking. Now, and the wings, as you see, can see right there. Then you want to take it, you heard it crack, and then you want to take your wings, fold them under so it will be flat like that. There's a little fat cavity right there. You put them under just like that. Okay. Now, after this, I'm going to wash my hands because I'm dealing with chicken. I'm dry my hands. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to salt it first and liberally salt it. You don't so much have to worry about the underside of the chicken because it's going to get the pan, the pan dripping and it's going to be, it's going to be flavored. Then you want to liberally pepper it. And see these are small hens. I think they were like two pounds a piece. Now, yeah. excuse me, I got <coughs> pepper. Now, 
Now I got my lemon pepper. And they love a lot of lemon pepper, so I coat it really good. We go through a lot of lemon pepper. They like lemon pepper hamburger, lemon pepper everything. So this is basically done. But so then you want to take it, pick it up gently, transfer it to your pan, just like that. Now we'll get my other hand and we're going to repeat the step. And this one was almost three pounds. So she was a pretty big girl. I'm going to go ahead and cut these tips off. Just take those two little joints off. Dogs will get, I'll boil the dogs, them, and some rice. Then I want to repeat the same step. And mind you, I've had these scissors forever, so they probably aren't the sharpest tool in the drawer. All right. And I actually do my turkey at Christmas like this too, because it it cooks faster, and you can you can actually turn it back over. I'll show you in just a second, and make it look. See, that's the backbone. And turn it back over and make it look pretty decent after it's done see or you can even bake it like that the backbone is usually what causes it to cook so slow and takes forever mm. so there you again try to tuck it under just under the little fat so it'll hold it sort of bake in a shape just like that and again on the wash man we are through with these and when these bake, they will have a very, very nice crust on them, and they'll be just absolutely delicious. And whenever you cut the backbone and stuff out of them, they, they're just the presentation, because sometimes what I'll do is I'll take when they do get done and split them right down the middle and give someone a half a chicken. So see, these two hens will be very good meal for four four people, you know. If they lay on a bed of rice, will just be beautiful. And then there, there you go again. Very liberal with this. And I got wax paper down because it just makes cleanup so much easier. And what I have done in the past before, I just rough cut my potatoes and washed them with the peeling on them and laid them around my chicken. And there we go. We're going to transfer her over here. <coughs> Jeez. Pepper light, you got me. Okay, let me clean this up and I'll show you the pan before I put it in the oven. See how easy that was to clean up? Now there will be a part two to this video because I, I mean it would take too long to do this. So when I, when I do bring you back, I will bring you back showing you how it all looked, except probably the biscuits because I'll wait till Albert gets through. Albert's working in the yard today. So I'll wait till he gets through doing that and make the biscuits fresh. But here are your two hens. And I got mine, like I said, at 385. You want a pretty, pretty high heat. So, but there they are. They're going to go in the oven. And then, um, like I said, I'll bring you back and there'll be a part two showing how the hens came out. Thank you. Bye-bye.